Okay, so managing employee performance. So learning objectives. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we have the different types of performance issues. Okay, one of the most uh, difficult parts of managing others or on the part of HR or the managers isn't um, when employees uh, kumbaga, do not do their job well no, or they're not doing a great job. Okay? So, yun yung, or hindi na nila, hindi na nila ginagawa yung trabaho nila at all. Okay? So, ito yung mga performance issues no ng uh, ng mga employee and of course there should be uh, a corresponding ano no um strategy or a response para ma avoid or ma handle itong mga performance issues na to okay first is constantly late or leaves early okay itong mga to usually uh, nag apply siya sa mga flexible schedule no uh, but again yun nga na discuss ko kanina no na ang flexible schedule it can promote or provide a work and life balance but managing this flexible schedule is should be tama no it should be uh appropriate or well managed no kasi ito yung mga ito yung schedule or or oras ng trabaho na minsan ang empleyado ay tinitake advantage nila. No, and sometimes, instead of working at home, they perform other mga non-related or non-work-related tasks. Okay? So again, managing that uh, flexible schedule on the part of the HR is the key. And then, too much time spent doing personal things at work. So yan, may mga nagpe-Facebook sa trabaho, no may mga nagse-cellphone ayan no kaya may mga companies that they have a policy no uh, using a computer or facebook or phone sa trabaho no uh, sa isang company okay lang naman yung mga personal use no or pwede rin minsan nagpi-print din ng ano no ng assignment ng anak sa trabaho may mga ganyan plus no so ginagamit yung resources ng company no so some personal use is fine but it can be a problem no especially if someone doesn't know where to draw the line hangga saan lang yung yung limitasyon okay ayan uh, and then uh, inability to handle proprietary information so ito yung uh, pagdating sa details no, or important significant information sa kliyente Okay, mga especially pag mga bank bank ano yan no, uh, details ng mga kliyente nila, insurance companies, ayan, where they should handle important client and information. Hospital part kasama din. No, kaya nga hindi din disclose, di ba? Di ba nga no nagka-COVID, hindi na binabanggit, di ba kung sino yung nagka-COVID or kung ano, di ba? So tinatag as much as possible ay tinatago nila. No, of course, uh, the ability to keep that information private is for the protection of others, which is important to the success of the company. No, sa ba ako nga, eh, di ba kahit kamag-anak, hindi pa nang i-disclose sa kanila unless uh, ko ano sila, eh, kumaga joint account or or uh, may, ang tawag dito, parang may nakapirma na uh, and or sa, sa statement or kung ano naman, no, hindi ka bibigyan ng details. Okay? Ayan. And if you publish or disclose that information publicly, then maapektuhan yung company. No? So yan, may mga empleyado na nagdi-disclose ng information, lalo na pag uh, paalis na sila ng company, no, uh, binibigay nila yung information about this client sa, sa iba. Katulad din na naikwento ko kanina. No? So, family issues, hindi na natin na nahin yan. Then, alam na yan, no, uh, affected, apektado yung kanyang trabaho dahil may problema sa bahay, no, at hindi siya makafocus, no. Drug and alcohol abuse, 
no kaya nga meron tayong mga um, drug test bago tayo pumasok or medical, di ba? Bago tayo i- ma-deploy. Then non-performing. Okay, again, related dyan yung family or personal issues. Okay, then conflicts with management or other employees. Then theft, pagdanakaw. No? Kaya ang pagdanakaw misa sa business or sa company, sa um, inside job. No, minsan yung empleyado ang gumawa nun. no Kasi alam niya kung ano yung pasikot-sikot. Eh. Alam niya kung paano uh, mag, yung system. So alam niya kung paano gawa ng pagnanakaw. Ethical breaches. So yung lying, withholding information, abusive behavior, and misreporting time or hours work. Then harassment. Then employees conduct outside the workplace scenes. Ano no, since you are representing your company or carrying the name of the company, then you should behave. No, especially pag ikaw ay um nag nagdi-disclose ba no ng information about your company sa labas. Okay? Or or nagpo-post ka ng anything about the company or worse is against the company, which is a violation of the company policy. This can result in termination. Okay, what influences performance? So, there are internal and external factors. Okay, so ano nga ba yung nakakapag-influence? Bakit nagpe-perform ka or hindi ka nagpe-perform na sa company? No, of course, pag ang employee ay hindi nagpe-perform na as expected, it can be very disappointing. No, for in the part of the company, especially HR, no, kasi... Considering the amount of time it takes no to recruit, na discuss natin yan, hire and train someone, no, it can be disappointing to find that a person has performance issues. Okay, although some uh sometimes yung mga performance issues na yan, it can be related to something personal like drug or alcohol abuse, family problem, no, so ayun nga no the, uh, these are the the factors. No, inf- that influence performance. Internal, yeah, no, career goals are not being met with the job. There is a conflict with other employees or manager. The goals or expectations are not in line with the employee's abilities. The employee's views unfairness in the workplace, discrimination or favoritism. The employee manages time poorly then uh, the employee is dissatisfied with the job. So sa external naman, uh, the job doesn't have correct equipment or the employee rather doesn't have correct equipment or tools to perform the job. Walang enough resources. The job design is incorrect. Kaya papasok pa rin tayo sa recruitment process. Okay, then external motivation factors are absent. So, yun na-discuss din natin kanina na no? yung parang um, hygiene or, or di ba, correlated din dyan yun, no Pag absent, no? hindi na sila nandemotivate, so naapektuhan yung performance. Then, uh, there's a lack of management support. Then, the employee skills and job are mismatched. Okay. So, in connection with the number three or number two. No? So, ayan. Pag gaganyan, diyan na papasok ang discipline. Okay? So this this is didisiplinahin na natin ang mga employee. So if not or if an employee is not meeting the expectations, discipline might need might need to occur. Kasi pag sinabi mong discipline, ang papasok sa iba punishment, 'di ba? Especially pag sa mga bata, no punishment. So, so when you say discipline, it is the process that process, di ba? Proseso. Okay? That corrects undesirable behavior. Kaya ang, ang pagdidisiplina ng magulang natin, hindi lang isang beses, di ba? Our lifetime. <laughs> no? Sa buong ano natin, buhay natin, dinidisiplina tayo ng magulang natin because it is a process no? Uh, to correct us of our undesirable behavior. So the goal of a discipline process should not necessarily be to punish, but to help the employee meet performance expectations. Okay, so although may mga supervisors that they do not choose na no to apply discipline or disciplinary 
procedures or actions because uh, wala silang enough evidences or hindi na document yung past employee actions or ayaw lang talaga nila because it will take time to handle the situation. No? So when this occurs, uh, the organization lacks consistency among managers, possibly resulting in motivational issues for other employees and loss of productivity. No, kasi walang proper disciplinary action. Okay, so of course, to have an, an, an effective uh, discipline process, rules and policies need to be in place. Okay, and uh, communicated to so all employees know the expectations. Ano ba yung saan ba tayo pwedeng madisiplina or ano ba yung pag uh, hindi na tayo nagpe-perform or may nava-violate tayo, ano ba to expect? No, ano ba yung mga guidelines natin? So, these are the following. So, all rules or procedures should be in a written document. Again, naka-document lahat. No, para may basihan at evidence. And rules should be related to safety and productivity of the organization. And it should be written clearly. Walang, walang mali dito. No, it should be uh, merely stated. So, the, no ambiguity or written clearly. So, no ambiguity occurs between different managers. So, bakit, bakit, ano ba yung nakasa, nasulat doon sa policy? Ano ba yung, so, dapat it should be clearly written. Okay? So, paano ba natin siya ibibigyan ng sanction? Eh, ang labo nung nasa policy. Ano ba talaga? So, it should be written clearly. Supervisors, managers, and HR should communicate rules. Yeah, sa orientation pa lang. No? Sa orientation and training. Then, should, rules should be revised periodically as their organization's needs change. Okay, so kailangan nire-revise ang uh, rules. Depende sa kung anong change din ang, uh, ang gustong implement no, uh, ng company. Okay, so syempre may pinagbabasihan dapat lahat. Bakit nasa ano tayo? Wait lang. Hindi naman siguro tayo lumaktaw. Hindi naman. Okay. So, wrongful termination. Okay, when you say uh, wrongful termination, again, may pinagbabasihan nga, no? Dapat may documentation, merong history of the behavior, no of the performance. Okay? Uh, pag wala, no and bigla ka na lang tinanggal ng walang kaabot-abot or rason ayan ay tinatawag na wrongful termination so kung ibig sabihin tinanggal ka ng for illegal without no uh, without the proper procedure no or or for illegal reasons like just because tinanggal ka just because no or tinanggal ka dahil uh, na walang enough evidence or hindi dumaan ng tamang proseso. No, let's say, yun nga, uh, nadidiscriminate ka, no, yun, violation na yun ng anti-discrimination labor sa, sa law, no, labor law. No, so, and, uh, dinanggal ka na hindi nakasunod doon sa kontrata. So, that's wrongful termination. Okay, so, okay, kaya to avoid this situation, Okay, uh, there should be a consistent approach no, to, to managing employee performance, okay, which is a crucial part of the human resource job. Okay, para hindi lang basa-basa ka tinanggal no, ng walang dahilan. Okay, dyan papasok si performance sa quizal. Okay? So, syempre, i-disciplina ka muna pag ano, no, ah, uh, sa sa disciplinary procedures um depende kung gaano kabigat yung ginawa mo no tapos pag hindi naman sobrang bigat at yan i-appraise ka kung ire, kung itutuloy pa yung kontrata or tatanggalin ka na no so performance appraisal okay so when you say performance appraisal Okay, it is a systematic process to evaluate employees 
on at least annual basis. Pero nung kami, six months, na depende sa company. Okay? So, the organization's performance uh, appraisal, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, performance appraisal and general rules and policies should be the tools that measure the employee's overall performance. Okay, lahat. Yung buong performance niya, di papasok yung mga KPIs, no? So, ayan. Okay, pagka may uh, paglumabas sa performance appraisal, ay may nabreak ka na rule or you did not meet the expectation, then dyan na ipapasok yung mga, mga corrective actions, no? Uh, Iko-correct na yung iyong behavior or yung performance. Ayan. Then, uh, the role of uh, performance appraisal in uh, the discipline. So, yun na nga. Okay? So, okay, if we appraise ka muna. So, we have the performance issue model. Okay, so we can view uh, performance issues in one of the five areas. No, First, we have the mandated issue. So the mandated issue is serious and must be addressed immediately. Okay, usually the mandated, mandated issue is one that goes beyond the company and could be a law. No, for example, examples of mandated issues like uh, an employee sharing information no, that violates privacy law, no, not following, let's say, safety procedure or, let's say, engaging in sexual harassment. So, yan na yung mandated issue. It means hindi lang ano, no, sa company yung nababiolate, kundi uh, batas na rin ng Pilipinas ang nababiolate. Okay? So, let's say, for example, a has, uh, an employee of the hospital ay posted something on his Facebook page that violates patient privacy. Now, this would be considered a mandated issue. No? So, to, this is to not violate privacy law. Batas na to, no? batas na. No? And could put the hospital in serious trouble. No? Again, yung mga ganito issue, kailangan i-address to ng mabilisan. Okay? So, a written policy detailing how this type of issue would be handled is crucial. Okay? So, do sa example ko kanina, pwedeng ma sa policy ng company, syempre, batas na 'yun ng ng ng, ng Pilipinas, no? Pwede kang agad-agad matanggal for this type of violation. No? So, or kung hindi ka naman matatanggal, uh, you have to or you are required to undergo or to go through privacy training, no? And it, you are given a written warning. Okay? So, kailangan yung mga policy ng company and how this mandated issues will be handled, it should, it's important. No, it's important and it should be consistent. Okay? So, kasi batas na yan ang, hindi lang ng company, kundi ng, ng Pilipinas. No? Next, the second performance issue is called a single incident. No? So, perhaps the employee misspeaks and insults some colleagues or perhaps he or she was over budget or late on a project. Okay, so dito naman, this is uh, usually a best solved with just a casual conversation to let the employee know na yung ginawa niya ay inappropriate. So, casual lang. No? Yung manager kakausapin lang si employee. No? So, Ah, uh, this misstep, yung pagkakamali na yun, malit na pagkakamali na yun. Uh, it can be considered a, a development opportunity for the employee. Okay? And coaching and working with that employee on this issue can be the best way to solve the problem before it gets worse. Okay? So kausapin, kausapin yung tao, yung empleyado, no? Yung kanyang pagkakamali. And then Pag yung single incident na yan ay hindi na correct or pinabayaan, mag -e evolve ngayon yan sa behavior pattern, which is the third type of performance issue. Okay? It occur <laughs> when the employee doesn't think the incident is a big deal kasi hindi naman siya na correct. Okay? So, na, uh, wala lang. Okay, so hindi naman yata mali yung ginawa ko. So, uulitin niya ngayon yan. No? 
<clears throat> okay, so in that case, uh, it's important to talk again with the employee and let him know what is expected. And then if that employee has been corrected for a behavior pattern but continues to exhibit the same behavior, ang tawag na doon ay pasaway. Per persistent pattern. Okay, persistent pattern na siya. Okay, so uh, often in this pattern, no, in this stage, uh, the employees okay, correct the problem after an initial discussion. So, parang okay, nagbago saglit, then babalik na naman sa kanyang old habits. Okay, if they do not self-correct, it could be they do not have the training or the skills to perform the job. Okay, so again, in that phase of handling performance issues, it is important to let this employee know that the problem is serious na. Uh, and further action will be taken if it continues. Okay? Then, yeah, no? so when an employee is having a performance issue, it is often the responsibility of HR professionals to investigate the situation. Okay, training managers on how to document performance failings is the first step in this process. So, kasi pag umulit na umulit, papasok na yung disciplinary intervention. Okay, so proper documentation is necessary should the employee need to be terminated later for the performance issue. So, yung mga incident report, no, yan yung example ng mga documentation. So, yan, nandiyan nandi sa screen. Okay, so yan yung papasok yung mga incident report na napirmado dapat no, ng manager at ng employee. Okay, and then, of course, pag na-document, the employee and the manager will clearly know the next step that will be taken should the employee commit the infraction in the future. So, pag na-document na, uh, si manager at si employee, sila ay mag-meet about the infraction no and this type of meeting is called investigative interview no to make sure the employees is fully aware of the discipline issue okay and then the last phase of dealing with employee problem would be ayun na disciplinary intervention so often this is called the progressive discipline process it refers to a series of steps taking corrective action on non performance issues. Okay, again, this progressive discipline process should be documented and applied to all employees committing the same offenses. Okay, then the steps in progressive, di progressive discipline normally are the following. Ayan, ito na. No? We have the, narinig natin to sa mga company, no? First offense, second offense. Sa estudyante, di ba meron din? So, first offense, an official verbal warning, counseling and restatement of expectation. Second offense, official written warning. Yung first offense, an ano pa yung verbal warning lang. Second offense, written warning, documented in employee file. Third offense, second official warning. Okay. Uh, improvement plan may be developed. Okay, documented in employee file. Fourth offense, possible suspension or other punishment documented in employee file. Fifth offense, termination and or alternative dispute resolution. Yeah. So, kaya yung mga nag apply uh, kailangan maging sila kasi pwedeng hindi ka na matanggap dahil sa naging performance mo sa iyong previous company. Lalo na nagbabakaround check ang uh, uh, mga ina-apply yan. Kaya sa mga application form, may mga nakasulat na um, are, ano yon Have you been terminated due to any of the following reasons? Yeah, may mga chichikang ka doon. Pag nagsinungaling ka, i-check yun ng company kung nagsasabi ka ng totoo o hindi. Okay? So this is an example of performance improvement plan. Ayan. So, pirmado dapat ng empleyado at ng yan, man, manager. Tsaka yung lead. 
Yan. Alternative uh, dispute resolution, yun nga, no? It can be termination or ADR. So, this is an, an, another option. Okay, another option. in handling disputes so performance issues and terminations so it's it can be effective in getting two parties to come to a to a resolution okay so in adr there's an unbiased third party that looks uh, at the facts in the case and tries to help the parties come to an agreement okay so it can be a company lawyer no pwedeng company lawyer kasi sa mga company meron silang mga company uh, company lawyer. No? So, an, in ADR, in mediation, the third party facilitates the resolution process, but the results of the process are not binding for either party. Walang pinapanigan. No? Pinapagit na. Nakagit na. No? Neutral. Okay, so, uh, this is different from arbitration. So, arbitration naman, nire-review yung case, and uh, that person makes a resolution or a decision on the situation. No? So, sa mediation, no, um, ano lang yan, sige, re-resolvehan natin, pero wala, nakagitna ka. So, either party may, uh, may, may kalalagyan. Okay? So, sa arbitration naman, baka be based doon sa situation sa kaso. So, the, the benefits of ADR are lower cost and flexibility as opposed to taking the issue to the court. Mga naman, time consuming at issue pa sa company. So some organizations use a step review system. So in this type of system, performance issues issue is reviewed by consecutively higher levels of management. So sila na yung nag-review, sila na yung tumitingin ng case. Okay, should there be a disagreement by the employee in a discipline procedure? And then some organizations also use the peer resolution system. So dito naman, there's a committee ng management and employees. So binubuo sila para i-review yung mga employee complaints or discipline issues. Okay? Then another type of ADR is the ombudsman system. So in this system, there's a person who is experienced enough no, uh, elected to be the designated individual for employees to go to should they have a complaint or an issue with the discipline procedure? Okay, so sa situation na yan, si ombudsman, okay, uh, he or she utilizes a problem-solving approach to resolve the issue. Okay, so ayan. Next is, ayan na, employee separation. Ayan, pag wala na, uh, tinanggal na, either nag-design, or tinanggal. No? So, again, employee separation. Okay. Can occur in any of these scenarios. First, the, again, resignation or termination. So, meron namang isa na absonding ang tawag na walang, walang paapaalam, umaalis yung empleyado. No, hindi nagre-resign, hindi dumadaan ng proper resignation procedure. Wala. Umalis na lang basta. Nag-awall, umalis, hindi na bumalik. Uh, so, yun yung absolutely. So, pag gano'n, syempre, wala kang makukuha ng ano, ano, uh, separation pay. Okay? So, alam niya natin tong resignation, hindi no? na natin siya uh, babasahin. Pero as much as possible, ang resignation, kung at kaya pang baguhin yung isip ng empleyado, kakausapin muna si employee. So, kay manager muna para hindi siya mabypass and then Pag kinausap ka ni manager, baka magbago pa isip mo. Pag hindi na talaga nagbago isip mo, yan, madaan ka na ng, of course, ng proseso ng pag-resign ng no? clearance, exit interview, yan. So, yan yung sa resignation. Okay, pag ikaw naman ay terminate iba siya sa resignation. Again, meron tayo mga documentation kanina na diniscuss ay yung Progressive discipline process. Okay, dapat lahat documented. Then, papasok yung performance appraisal, performance improvement plan, mga warnings, 
Okay? So, then, syempre, pagka wala talaga nangyari, in-invite ngayon si employee. No? Then, doon na siya kakausapin na ito yung mga evidences, ito yung documents, na ito yung performance appraisal mo, bago mo siya kausapin na tatanggalin na siya sa trabaho. Ayan. So, severance package. So, syempre, ayan, uh, ito yung mga separate A separation pay and pay, pay benefits or other compensation for which an employee is entitled. Kailangan entitled. No, hindi lahat binibigyan. Okay, kailangan kaya nakalagay diyan entitled, no? No, so pag umalis sila ng organization, they're entitled to a back pay. Yan or or ano or other benefits pa na pwede makuha, incentives pa na hindi pa nakuha katulad ko na nag-resign ako, may incentive pa rin ako nakuha. Yan. Kasi yun pa yung Pwede, uh, nakuha ko sa kap, kulang ng company. Kulang ng company sa akin. So, ayan. Uh, okay, so, ang, ang, se ang separation pay depende pag ano naman, depende sa company pag uh, ikaw ay parang forced termination or forced resignation. Depende. No, bibigyan ka nila ng Let's see, uh, before sa Accenture, no, nag, napilita sila magtanggal ng mga, ng mga empleyado. No? Uh, binigyan nila ng tig -tig -tig, magkano ba? 100,000 yata yun. No, kahit yung mga bagong hire, binigyan nila ng 100,000 pesos. No? So, ayan. Okay, kasi bigla sila nagtanggal ng tao. So, depende. No, kung mabigat-bigat yung kaso mo, syempre, pwede hindi ka bigyan ng separation pay. Then, uh, right sizing. So, right sizing is also downsizing. Okay, parehas lang naman sila. No? Uh, para, mas pinaganda lang si right sizing kasi parang it's to define the organization's goals better. No? Kasi kaya nagda-downsize, it can be yun nga. Um, katulad ng pandemic, na madami na layoff, nagbawas sila ng staff. Okay. Uh, may mga kailangan baguhin, no? hindi hindi kumita yung kumpanya. Ayan. Then, uh, considerations ng, ano, ng right sizing or downsizing. No? Uh, kailangan, syempre, hindi naman madaling magtanggal na trabaho, ay, ng tao. No? So, kasi pag tinanggal mo sila, and then pag uh, bumalik ka na ulit sa business or bumalik na ulit yung normal, no, mag-hire ka ulit sa panibagong cost na naman yon, Okay, so ano ba yung pwedeng paraan? No, baka pwede mag-cut lang na expenses or um, bigyan ng leave muna yung mga tao, you know, bago, ba, baka hindi, pa, para hindi na sila malay off. Okay, so offering uh, sabbatical, temporary sabbaticals, no, uh, changing from full time to part time muna, no, then pagka okay na yung company, babalik ulit sa dati, balik kayo ulit. So, ayan. Okay? Ayan. Okay, so ayan, um <clears throat> sa atin yun nga no, pag nag-resign, okay, ano ba, pag yan na layoff ka, bibigyan ka na ng company ng separation pay. Pwede naman, oo. Tulad nung sa Accenture, no? So, lalo na pag uh, wala na pinita sila magtagal talaga. So, may bibigay sila ng separation pay. No? So, wala namang mali yung empleyado eh, no? So, bibigyan nila. No, uh, like ayun uh, nga, uh, nalugi ang company, ret no, retrenchment, nagsara. So, bibigyan nila ng uh, separation pay. Kasi pag nag-resign naman, meron pa rin basta dumaan ka ng tamang proseso ng pagre-resign. Syempre, hindi ka nag-awol, hindi ka bigla na lang uh, nawala sa company no so pag nag-resign kami nakukuha ka at makukuha kang back pay kung tawagin okay <coughs> yan so we also yan class yung ano no papasok tayo sa ano no yung labor union class ipo-post ko na lang siya sa ano ha sa classroom hindi na natin i-discuss yan okay So, um, kasi meron dyan tinatawag na CBA no? or, or the Collective uh, Bargaining Agreement. So, when you say CBA, it is a process of negotiations. No? 
um, between the company and representatives of the union or union. Okay, kasi when you say labor union, it is defined as workers united or by banding together to meet common goals, you no know, like a better pay, benefits or promotion goals. Okay, sa America meron din sila. Diyan nag-start naman yun eh, sa Western. Popost ko yung videos no about uh union. Okay, so kaya papasok si union pag yun nga pag yung mga employee na feel nila na hindi na meet ng organization yung kanilang um yung mga needs nila or yung mga karapatan nila na bilang manggagawa yon so nandiyan uh, ang union para tulungan sila so fairness in the workplace no it's also another reason why people join unions no uh, feeling nila yung hindi na hindi sila natitreat ng maayos ng company or ng management okay so of course ang purpose ng union is to eliminate some of the unfairness no sa company Ayan. Hindi na natin masyadong ano class, no? I-dis propose ko yung ano nito, yung recorded uh I recorded to lang yung videos about uh uh labor union and, and collective bargaining um agreement. Okay? Ayan. Okay, so that's for the Pare ako na lang class ko okay pa kayo for la the last topic. Ah, boli ko in 20 minutes. So, pa okay na lang. Uh, please thumbs up or heart react or yet. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, class. Okay.